Hello, this is Zoe from Imaginary Pig Creations, and this is my first ever Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner plan with me. And I'm using these two kits, um, and I will link the shops I got them from down below. Um, because I caught the sticker bug uh, when I was scrapbooking and using some printables in my bujo, and this year I thought I will buy myself an Erin Condren as a little Christmas present, and get busy with the stickers, although I do intend to do a few plan with me's where I just doodle and use paint and things like that. So I'm using those two kits, these lovely foiled cat mood stickers, um, which I probably won't use until afterwards, and these stickers that came with the Erin Condren itself, um, which I've used some of in setting up the months already, so I will use a few of them as and when. In the a weekly layout itself. I can't actually believe, can anyone else believe? It's already 2019, I, I mean I know everyone says it every year but this year in particular has gone very fast. I did move house um, at the end of August so that probably didn't help in terms of everything going fast because moving house does you know make everything speed by but it really has been a fast year and I intended to do this to launch this channel and start doing art and planner related things on YouTube at some point last year and I just didn't get around to it. So the one thing I've decided to do is make a massive head start and plan out my entire year now, which is pretty much what I've been doing over the last week in between, you know, celebrating Christmas and drinking and eating too much and all that sort of thing. Um, so I didn't want the day headers so I cut them off and just used that January header as the, as the bottom washi. Uh, then I've just put all the half boxes down and then I've put a few of the main um, the main full box or f sort of half box pictures in and I just put them in randomly really just sort of plonked them down wherever I wanted <laughs> I mean that's my style really I just plonk stuff down if it doesn't look right I'll change it or cover it but most of the time I'm happy with how these things come out um, and you've kind of got it made with a kit really haven't you because it's going to look fairly pretty whatever you do because it's designed to coordinate so on the side there I put that to-do list and that's going to be my monthly to-dos uh, and then I just use a couple more boxes to cover up the lines that side and it had these cute little balloons so I put the balloons down because you know festive and all that kind of thing um, um, what are you guys doing for new year? I'm debating, I've, I've been invited out to um, th the village that I've moved to, we've only been here three months and I met the parish councillor when I was at the bus stop the other day and she has invited me out um, to go to a sort of New Year's party at the local community centre and meet the locals and that sort of thing and I'm, I'm really nervous because I, I never used to be but I have spent the past two years suffering from de severe depression and uh, and isolating myself and I got quite agoraphobic and I stopped leaving the house um, so I did actually move as, as a way to try and heal myself really it's a very long story which I may get into at some point if anyone's interested I'm sure you're not <laughs> but um but the move was my healing move look I didn't line that up properly and that's really annoying me now I've noticed it oh well and a lot of the top boxes are wonky, but you know, I've never planned like this before. And I put some more champagne down. Yeah, anyway, so the um, the councillor has invited me out to this New Year's Eve party, and I guess I would meet all the locals and, and people from my community, and I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I'm ready to talk to people yet. But at the same time, I am desperate for this coming year to be the year that I get out and go out and do things again. Um, I want to reclaim my life. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Um, I would just reposition that because for some reason I really couldn't get that one straight. So this is me just popping in little to-do boxes, but mainly I'm just covering up the lines to make it pretty. I've, I've left quite a lot of white space because I haven't actually planned out my week much yet. Just because it's New Year and everything's fairly quiet in January, so I haven't really, haven't really gone to it in depth. So here I'm still using bits of the kit. I use bits of um, both kits, in fact. But I've got enough of the second kit to use for next week as well. So there, we and this is my little tin of stickers. It's like a little, I think it had shortbread in it last Christmas. And it's just the right size for keeping all these little functional stickers and things in. 
Um, so those are functional planning stickers, which I got from Hummingbird Plan Planner, which I shall link. This is from The Joy of Planning, those, uh, those housework and laundry stickers you saw just there. I can't remember where these ones came from that I'm putting down now. Um, if I can remember, I shall link it. But they weren't, they, they came as a sort of extra little complimentary sheet from another another set that I ordered a while ago and I can't remember where from. These Starbucks stickers are fantastic, I really like them. Um, they're from Matreska Crafts and I shall link them below. Those cute little girl stickers are from The Joy of Planning on Etsy and I shall link her because she has got to be my favourite Etsy shop for planner stickers because all those girls you can customise, you can choose their skin tone and their hair colour and um, which I think is just fantastic and it's just really fun. So now I'm finally writing some things in, a little telephone call my mum because I'm not spending New Year with her this year. Um, we spent Christmas together and we both decided um, she wanted a kind of quiet New Year and she wanted to go to bed early <laughs> and I may well end up doing the same if I don't go to this party I'm deciding. So I want to get things clean because I don't know about you but I like to keep things or get things clean before the new year comes in because then it feels like you really are doing a fresh start and I didn't do that last year and the new year just sort of passed with a kind of damp squib rather than a bang so I, this year I'm going to make the effort to get everything clean and tidy before the new year comes in uh, then I'm just doing a little doodle because if I do go and party um, I'm just going to allow myself to sleep in so that's my sleeping in doodle just a very quick one. Uh, as you can see then I've got these shelves to put up that I've been putting off and putting off and putting off basically for three months because I meant to put them up when we moved in and I, I haven't done so yet. Uh, so trying to tidy up my art studio which at the moment just has everything kind of on the floor it's really messy. Uh, then just wrote down that I've got to book some doctor's appointments as you can see and I think we're nearly done actually I don't think I wrote much more. Oh yeah I, I came back and put in this cleaning sticker to mark that I wanted to get everything clean and change the bed clothes before New Year. That's pretty much it. So I'm writing down some tasks. I have an account which I still haven't changed the address on yet. I, th I think I've changed the address on everything. There's always so much to do when you move house and I don't even know if we're going to stay past this year. I signed a contract for a year um, in this new place and I'm just going to see whether we get on with it. So far, so far it's a happy house but the rent is quite expensive so I don't know if I can cope with it for another year so we'll have to see so I'm going to have to make that decision in about May. Um, I'm going to try and be consistent with filming Plan With Me's and filming YouTube videos from now on which is why I've planned that out for Saturday. On Sunday I always plan my week and I always do a menu plan and a shopping list and then I do my grocery shopping. I often do it online because um, going to actual supermarkets can cause panic attacks especially if they're crowded so I tend to get to get it delivered which I know is incredibly lazy and doesn't help me in terms of um, the fact that I need to lose a lot of weight but some things it's better just not to argue with yourself <laughs> so I order the shopping in. Um, I am going to try and keep track, a lot more track of working out, which I did say in my other video, my planner setup video, I've got, um, I'm going to try and track working out and I'm planning to do some yoga every single day in January, that's my 30 day challenge for January. Here I'm just doing another silly little doodle because I want to just brainstorm some ideas for stickers of my own because um, my dream would be to be making money from my own art and um, I know that the only way to do that is to open a shop and start selling things and I've always been too nervous to do so. So that's just a note that I need to brainstorm and think of some ideas. And here I'm researching properties because I used to own property until we moved this year and now I don't and it makes me nervous not to own a flat so I'm having a look. That's it, that is my plan with me for this week. Join me again next week for more of the same. Thank you very much, bye bye.